Good afternoon, everyone. Vicar Jesse here from Bethlehem Lutheran Church, here with a daily message of encouragement that comes from Scripture. This week, we're looking at God's mercy. The mercy that God shows us even when we're disobedient, even when we sin, when we consistently choose the wrong thing, God consistently chooses to show us mercy. Today, I want to look at a familiar but wonderful story from Scripture. It's the story of Jonah. Jonah is a prophet. God asks him to go to Nineveh and warn Nineveh that if they don't repent and change their ways, that they will be destroyed. Nineveh is the sworn enemy of Israel, and Jonah doesn't want to go and warn them. So he flees God's command, jumping on a ship to Tarshish, headed in the opposite direction of Nineveh. While on that journey, a storm arises, and the sailors, fearing for their lives, realize that the cause of the storm is Jonah. So they cast him into the sea. God could have let Jonah drown, but instead he shows him mercy, sending a big fish. That big fish swallows him up and carries him to Nineveh. Jonah then does what God asks him to do. He warns Nineveh that if they don't repent, if they don't change their ways, they'll be destroyed. And Nineveh relents. They listen to Jonah. They repent. And God chooses to show them mercy. You would think that this would make Jonah happy. But instead, he's angry. He didn't want Nineveh to repent. He didn't want Nineveh to see God's mercy. And that's where our scripture picks up for today. Jonah, the fourth chapter. But it displeased Jonah exceedingly. And he was angry, and he prayed to the Lord and said, O Lord, is not this what I said when I was yet in my country? That is why I made haste to flee to Tarshish. For I knew that you are a gracious God and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love, and relenting from disaster. Therefore now, O Lord, please take my life from me, for it is better for me to die than to live. And the Lord said, do you do well to be angry? Jonah went out of the city and set to the east of the city and made a booth for himself there. He sat under it in the shade till he should see what would become of the city. Now the Lord God appointed a plant and made it come up over Jonah, that it might be a shade over his head to save him from discomfort. So Jonah was exceedingly glad because of the plant. But when the dawn came up the next day, God appointed a worm that attacked the plant, so that it withered. When the sun rose, God appointed a scorching east wind, and the sun beat down on the head of Jonah, so that he was faint. And he asked that he might die, and said, It is better for me to die than to live. But God said to Jonah, Do you do well to be angry for the plant? And he said, Yes, I do well to be angry angry enough to die. And the Lord said, You pity the plant for which you did not labor, nor did you make it grow, which came into being in a night and perished in a night. And should not I pity Nineveh, the great city in which there are more than 120,000 persons who do not know their right hand from their left? God gives Jonah an object lesson. He creates this plant to give Jonah shade. Jonah's glad for the shade and angry when the plant dies. He pities the plant, but yet he can't find pity for Nineveh. God points this out, saying, shouldn't I pity Nineveh? 120,000 people? Jonah was shown mercy by God in the sea. God showed mercy to Nineveh. Jonah's lesson is one that we all should learn. We frequently want God's mercy, ask for God's mercy, but we don't want to see God be merciful to those who disagree with us or those who are our enemy or those who have caused us pain. 
But God's mercy extends to everyone. He sent Jesus Christ for everyone. And he calls us to be merciful to everyone. Hopefully you found some encouragement in these words. Some reassurance. If there's anything we can do for you at Bethlehem Lutheran Church, please feel free to reach out to us via email at office at blcdelmar.com. Or you can reach out to me directly at wilson at blcdelmar.com. We're thankful today because we have a God who, as Jonah said, that is why I made haste to flee to Tarshish, for I knew that you are a gracious God and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love and relenting from disaster. We thank God for his mercy. As always, God bless you. Have a wonderful day.